I was the only son. I had two sisters. I was the only son, so really it was expected of me. And, you know, I couldn't turn my father down. Everybody knew Tyrannies. <laughs> Everybody knew Tyrannies. That was the place to work, you know? When my father landed in Ellis Island, he already knew that they were going to try to open a bakery somewhere. And, and you know, they found this place here. And uh, they, they opened, and that was the range he used. That's the original. All of his life, he wore those, those paper hats. And I used to say, it's time to change your paper hat. And he used to say, it's still good, it's still good. <laughs> I have grown-ups that come in here and said, when I was a child, he never forgot me. When I came in, he always gave me a cupcake or a cream puff. People just remember him. After all these years, they never forgot him. A friend of ours from uh, Lancaster introduced us several years ago and met Vince and got a tour and, and so whenever we're in town we always stop by, pick up the goodies. It's a thing that uh, Termini's always wanted. You greet your customers with a smile. Uh, when I'm waiting on them, I also talk to them. I don't just stand there and tie their boxes and let them go. You talk to them, uh, they become very friendly, they're very happy when they leave. This was one of the trades of Termini's. I have everything, uh, you know, written down in the safe. Uh, you know, we're very fussy about who gets these recipes. And my sons uh, watch over, or they, if I have a recipe that, a specialty item that we make, like for Easter, or for St. Joseph's Feast Day, or for Christmas, they have the recipe. Now, my son Joseph has a little boy, and he named him Vincent after me and he's 18 months old, so we're still, I, I don't know if I'll ever see it at my age. I hope someday. I'll look, be looking from up there.